Do your cat's antics perplex and annoy you, leading you to believe you're the owner of one crazy cat? Well, you are not alone. In this video, we will be talking about the 12 strangest cat behaviours and explaining why cats behave in this way. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Number 12. Eating plastic. Do you have a cat who likes to munch on non-edible materials such as plastic, wool, fabric or even steel? You might be back from the grocery shop to find your cat biting on the plastic bags before you even have the chance to put your groceries away. Some cats will even eat plastic if they are not caught in time. The cause is often unclear, however boredom and curiosity might be the most possible answer. Cats are naturally curious animals, and they will take any chance they can get to explore new things around them. While teething, cats may munch on anything and acquire a preference for the feel of plastic that they would retain into adulthood. In addition, the cat could just simply like the texture and sound of the plastic bag. Plastic, on the other hand, can cause choking or intestinal blockage. Therefore, you should prevent it by giving them safe chew toys. Another cause might be feline pica syndrome, an uncommon illness that affects cats. This might be caused by mineral deficiencies, anemia, hypothyroidism, or even stress. If your cat is having pica symptoms, it's essential to undergo a thorough evaluation by a veterinarian to check out any underlying issues. Number 11, your cat staring at you. You may have noticed your cat's eyes locked onto you one moment, and the next he appears to look away and wants nothing really to do with you. It might even seem like that there is something behind you when there actually isn't. So what's the deal? When your cat stares at you, something about you or your surroundings has gotten his attention. Cats have a very good sense of smell and hearing, and they may detect things well before we do. Perhaps a fly has gotten into the room, or maybe you have put on a new perfume or cologne. This intense stare might indicate that he's on full alert and he is trying to figure out what is going on. When this happens, it's best not to stare your cat in the eyes directly. Offer him some room and don't make any sudden movements. This will let your cat assess the situation and calm down when he realizes that there is nothing to be scared of. Another way your cat might be staring at you is by slowly blinking and locking eyes with you. This is referred to as kitty kisses by cat behaviorists. Your cat's slow flashes are expressing love and letting you know that they love and trust you. They will most probably continue to blow cat kisses in your direction if you blink back at them with love. This will increase his love for you and he may even approach you for some cuddles and scratches. Number 10 rubbing their face against you. What does it mean when your cat comes up to you and rubs his face on your leg, arm or face? It indicates that he likes you and is happy to see you. The fur on a cat's face contains scent glands. When they brush against you, it's a way of saying hello and mixing odors. This is done for them to leave their scent on you and identify you as their own. When you think about it, it's similar to the European welcome of embracing three times on each cheek. When your cat brushes his head against you, he's doing much more than simply displaying love and greeting you. Flutter is a term used by behaviorists to describe what he's doing. Pheromones are being emitted from his head and it's his method of asserting control over you. He's demonstrating pride in the fact that you're his, just like a cat might rub his smell on furniture to indicate his territory. Keep a calm finger within just a few inches of the cat's nose if you want to create a good first impact. You may test his desire to engage further by softly massaging the face and neck region if he comes closer to smell and rubs on your finger. Number nine, why some cats expose their bellies but hate belly rubs. Have you ever had a cat happily come over to you and flop over exposing their stomach? It seems like an open invitation to pet their bellies However, when you try to pet them there, they suddenly flip over on their legs and retreat. What is going on? Well, the underbelly is one of the most vulnerable parts of a cat since it houses the most vital organs of the cat's body. So when a cat comes over to you and flops over, they are trying to signal to you that they are comfortable being in your presence by presenting their most vulnerable side to you. That shouldn't be a sign for you to pet them there though. 
The hair follicles on the cat's belly are hypersensitive to touch, and petting them there might cause overstimulation. Hence, some cats would prefer it if you pet them elsewhere, such as their foreheads or under their chins. Number 8. Tail Twitching A cat's tail can tell us a lot about how a cat is feeling at the present moment. When a cat is relaxed and calm, their tail will be moving in a languid, pleasant motion. However, when your cat's tail starts to twitch, it is something to keep an eye out for. So, how can you detect the change in your cat's mood? Take notice if the tail begins to accelerate and move in a jerky manner. Something is starting to irritate his nerves and the tail is the vent for it. It may be accompanied by abrupt escapes and ears shifting to the back or side. You might also be observing your cat going about his business around the house when you detect a twitch near the tip of his tail. Is that typical? Yes, it most certainly is. It might indicate that your cat is enthusiastic or concentrated. When your cat is playing or catching prey around the house, this is what normally happens. The twitching of your cat's tail should stop after he or she has settled down. Tail twitching could also happen when your cat is napping. It might mean that something is bothering your cat, or it may even mean that they are having a bad dream. Number 7. Kneading Have you ever had your cat come up to you and start kneading his paws either on you or on your pillow? It may be a pleasurable feline activity when your cat puts his paws into you and rubs you back and forth. Your kitty's desire to do this goes back to its nursing days. It fostered better milk yield by putting his paws on his mother's mammary glands. Whenever your cat performs this as an adult, he is either pleased and displaying his happiness, or he is attempting to relieve tension and this behaviour helps him relax. In any case, consider it a compliment that you remind him of his mother. Number 6. Purring when it comes to purring, it is considered a very common cat habit and many people would not classify it as strange. At the age of two days, kittens start purring. When we imagine cats purring, we usually picture them being happy or satisfied. In truth, cats also purr when they are afraid, stressed or in pain. Purring when they are not feeling well is likely similar to people whistling when they are alone or feeling uneasy. Cats may be seeking to self-soothe by doing a behaviour connected with a pleasing time. Talking about a pleasing time, if you have enjoyed this video so far, we would appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Number 5. A Raised Butt Have you ever had your cat come up to you and stick his butt in your face? What is up with that? Well, a raised butt indicates to other cats that your cat is comfortable and is generously providing a butt smell. It's like receiving a hug and kiss from a friend when your cat would do this to you. The great news is that you will not have to reciprocate by sniffing your cat's behind. Rather, you can pat or brush your cat where he prefers. Number 4. Cat Calls don't you simply love it when you're deep in your sleep and the roar of your cat ploughing down the corridor startles you awake? Or when your furry companion is yowling at you as you're trying to get some rest? Most indoor cats have a great deal of energy that has to be discharged during the day. This, in combination with the nocturnal inclinations to hunt at night, might disrupt your sleep. To avoid erratic sprints across the home in the dark of night, we recommend training and playing with your cat during the day. You may also feed him immediately when you go to sleep and to deter him from meowing late at night. You can give him food riddles to keep him occupied while you sleep. If your older cat is very talkative during the night, it might be an indication of a serious but curable disease. Older cats tend to be mellower and have less energy. So if they are still catcalling late into the night, he might be trying to tell you something. If this is the case, we recommend setting up an appointment with your vet. Number 3. Burying Poop Compared to other pets, cats are the only ones who clean up after themselves. Most people think that this is due to them being picky about cleanliness. However, there is a deeper reason for this strange behaviour. In the wild, cats hide their poop in order to cover their tracks from their predators or even other cats. Unlike humans, other animals are able to pick up on the scent of the cat's poop. 
By burying their poop, they are simply being cautious by eliminating any potential threat to the cat. Although there is no reason for indoor cats to continue doing so, they still retain this survival instinct from their ancestors and mother cats will still continue training their kittens to do the same. Number two, drinking water straight from the tap instead of the water bowl. Have you ever gone to the kitchen and turned on the water tap only for your cat to walk over and drink from it? What is up with that? Why do cats choose to drink from the faucet when they have their own bowl of water? This tendency might be inherited from your cat's wild forefathers. Drinking from a moving water source such as a stream is safer in the wild than drinking from a stationary water source, which might harbour germs or other contaminants. If you're looking at it this way, your cat is simply being cautious. Number one, sitting in boxes. Do you want to learn how to capture a cat? Simply put a little box on the ground. And before you know it, your cat would have made that box into its home. Cats of many kinds seem to like fitting themselves into such cardboard safe havens, even when they might be too big for it. This includes big wild cats such as lions and cheetahs. When a cat is in a box, he feels safer than when he is out in the public, especially when the impulse to snooze arises. Another advantage of folding oneself into a box is that it traps and radiates body heat, which cats enjoy.